In this video, we're, I have an alternative way of doing 6.03, and you can do the one in the lessons, or you can choose to do this alternative way. And the purpose of this video is to help support the worksheet that you're going to fill out. And instead of going through all the distance formulas and the midpoint formulas, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in calculator in GeoGebra for distance, formulas, midpoint, slope, equation of lines, and slope-intercept form. So I'm going to go through this worksheet and show you how to do this in GeoGebra. First thing it says, find the midpoint of these points. I'll be right there because I'm going to open up my GeoGebra. So I have my GeoGebra. I'm not doing the same points, so I'm just going to input. You can input on the input line the point. So I'm just going to do 5, 6, and just doing two random points, 3, 2. So the midpoint formula is found scrolling under here and going to the midpoint. And you go here and here, and it comes up with the midpoint. What is really happening in the midpoint formula is you're adding the x's. So you have 5 plus 3, which is 8, and dividing up by 2. And the other point would be adding the y's, which is 6 plus 2, which is 8, divided by 2. And so that comes out as 4, 4. So let me show you the next part of this worksheet to help you support you. All right, find the distance between these points. So I deliberately chose a point that was near 0, 0, and one that's far away. So let me show you how to do this in GeoGebra. So I'm going to hit File, New don't save. So I'm going to input two points, one point that's going to be near the, the origin, one, two, and my other order pair I'm going to make it something really large, 500 comma 700. So in order to find this pair I'm going to use the move graphics view. Notice my x values are around 500. I can collapse the graph by getting a double arrow and I can just collapse it. It's in the 500, but I don't see the other point because I need to collapse this to be near around 700. So I'm just going to keep going and collapsing it until I see that other point. Now the distance formula is you take the difference of the x's and square it, add it to the difference of the y's and square it, and then take the square root of the whole thing. Or you can do this. You can make a segment between the two points. And this will tell you the distance, which is 858.02. Or if you really can't read that very well, you can go down here to the distance or length, and this will give you the distance between those two points. So let's go to the next part. And it says, what is the slope of the line that passes through these two points? Now that you know how to input the points, I'm just going to put them down in a different way. So instead of inputting the points here, I'm just going to put them down two different points. To find the slope we need to create a line. Here's the line tool and I'm going to click on the two points. The slope tool is down here. The slope is the difference of the y's it, let me write it down, is equal to the change of y's divided by the change of x's. So in this case it's increasing and it's 0.37. So let me show you the next one. And this one is putting in some points and trying to determine if these lines are perpendicular, parallel, or neither. So let me put some points in and let me help you with that. I'll be right back. Suppose we're trying to decide whether this, this, the point, the line that goes through A and B is perpendicular to the line that goes through D, C and D. So we're going to create a line between two points. I have to click on the line tool, so I'm going to click here and B. Then I'm going to click on these two. I would strongly suggest intersecting these. So to find out if they're, if they're perpendicular, what you do is you can use the angle tool. The angle tool only works in the clockwise direction. So we're going to work here. It's 90 degrees. So they are perpendicular, but some of their questions might also ask about that based on the slopes. So let me show you what that means. The slope of this line is 1.38. The slope of the other line is negative one, um, negative 0 0.73. Always for perpendicular lines, the slopes m times m1 is equal to negative 1. This means that they're opposite reciprocals. So let me try that on my calculator. I'm not so sure it's going to work because it might be a rounding error, but let's try this out. 1.38 times um, 0.73 negative is equal to just a little over one, but that's because of the rounding errors. These are indeed 
perpendicular. Now, if they're the same, if they're if they're parallel, let me show you what would happen then. Parallel lines have the same slopes. So let me just put in two parallel lines. Y is equal to 2x plus 6, and y is equal to 2x minus 5. These are parallel lines, and let's look at the slopes again. And based on their slopes, this is 2 and this is 2. This should help you with this question. Let's go to the next question. Write an equation of line that passes through these two points in slope intercept form. Let me help you with that. I'm going to hit File, New, Don't Save. I'm just going to put up any two random points, and I'm going to put a late line through them. Now, this is not in slope-intercept form because slope-intercept form is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b. b is the, is the um, y-intercept and slope m is the slope. So the easiest way of doing this is just right-click on this and change it to slope-intercept form, and that will give you the answer for that. I hope this helps. And now the last question is, write an equation of line parallel to a line that goes through this point in slope-intercept form. Let me show you how to do that one. Hit File, New, Don't Save. So we're just going to start with some kind of a line, and I'll just put a line here. And then they'll give you a point to put in here. These aren't the points. You actually have to input the points, but that'll get the idea. And they want a line parallel. Well, there's a parallel tool. So you go to the parallel tool, and it tells you what to do. Select point and parallel line point and line. Now slope intercept form, you just go here and change it into slope intercept form. There you have it. But let me just suppose they asked you to find an equation that was perpendicular. There's a perpendicular tool as well. And so you can just change this into y equals mx plus b format. I hope this helps you and you should have a lot of fun working on your worksheet and come back for part two of this video so I can help you with the triangle inequality theorem. Thank you for watching.